She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad to feature You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar What's good Gemini 2 sides? It's your girl Sheena Nicole Hey, how you doing? Thank you for clicking on this video. You know, welcome back if you are already a subscriber. But if you are new to my channel, if you are new to Gemini Two Sides, my name is Sheena Nicole. And yeah, um, thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you do subscribe. We are just trying to grow this family. We are on our way to 1K, 1, 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, oh my God, that's so exciting. Um, but yeah, so we are just trying to grow the family, okay? Because we are a family. We are all about positivity, good energy, you know, just good spirits around us. That's what we're all about. We're all about having fun and living in our truth and living in our light. So if you are about that, if you are looking for someone who, to watch someone who just uh, illuminates good energy, who lives in their truth, who tries new things, who, you know, is not afraid to live their life, then honey, please subscribe, please, because that's what we're all about in the more the merrier, okay? Um, as you can tell by today's title, we are going to be doing a mental check-in which I think is very, very important because it is the beginning of the year. Here, January kind of went by really, really fast. Like, am I the only one who feels that way? Because I really feel like January just, you know? First and foremost, I have to say I'm absolutely blessed to see 2022, to be living in a whole new year. So for this year, I'm just really hoping and praying that this year is more promising, it's more productive, it is more goal-oriented, it's more ambitious for me, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to put my best energy forward into this new year and hopefully some good things come out of that you know just doing my little mental check-in because it is the beginning of the year i do want to make sure that um my mental stays pretty sound and um balanced for this entire year um so for right now i'm just gonna rate my mental right now i would literally say i'm feeling about mm, I would say maybe a six and a half a seven and I only say that because um some personal issues has been going on with my family and it is just kind of like my mentality right now if I'm being completely open honest and transparent is like kind of like a tug of war right now which is killing me on the inside in a way but at the same time as much as I am dealing with all of that mentally it's like the other side of my mental you I don't even know it's like one part is the tug of war and then the other part is very calm so I like I don't know, maybe that is, I mean, you clicked on Gemini Suicide, so I am very capable of feeling many and multiple emotions. So, um, yeah, one side is like a tug of war, the other side is very calm, chill, you know, happy in a way. But the part that is that mental tug of war, like I said, is a personal reason, so I'm not going to get it into on camera, but that has been causing me to just kind of go back and forth about as far as what I should do. Um, and I am just trying to be 
Well, just I'm trying to move forward as gracefully and as smoothly, as calmly as possible, no matter what situation. Um, this just so happens to be the first situation of the year that I'm dealing with. So I'm really just hoping and praying that I can continue moving forward. My big thing for this year is I'm not trying to get into any arguments with anyone. I'm not trying to go back and forth with anyone. I'm not trying to bicker or argue or have any type of that negative energy. I'm not trying to have that around me, okay? And I'm good energy, good balance. That's all I want, that's all my goal is. So literally anything that resonates with negativity, I'm just going to take a step back, you know, and it kind of just sucks that it is family oriented, the situation, but sometimes for your own mental health, you do need to just take a step back and woo you know, and just figure out what you need to do to move forward. On the other side, when it comes to my business, my brand, when it comes to my future goals, when it comes to my career, when it comes to what exactly I'm trying to do for this year in the future, like any of those goal oriented um, related issues, I'm very calm about that. I'm very um, positive about it. I like there's no issues as far as that because this year I really feel like it's going to be more promising and um honestly God is already working like he's already working on me like I, I just feel it around me in my soul and my bones and I know not everyone is spiritual I know not everyone is um into that however I'm just speaking for me personally my own perspective. I personally do believe in God. He is my number one and I really do feel him working in my life because if you are a good person at heart, genuinely, he is going to show up and show out for you. I absolutely believe that. It's called manifestation and once you keep speaking it into existence, it will come true. Okay, you guys. So on that spectrum i am doing so good some things i've already been working and moving for me um and i'm not going to even touch on that too much because i don't want to put all my business out there like that however just know i do have goals this year i'm very ambitious with my goals and i know that this is going to be the year no matter what I got to do, if I got to put in triple the amount of work is going to happen this year because I believe it is going to happen this year. A lot of things are kind of like falling into line more so than they did last year. So that's another thing that's kind of um, also keeping me positive and keeping my head on straight because, you know, you got to stay focused on the prize. You have to, because if you don't, you're going to get easily distracted and your goals are never going to get done. And, you know, we're not trying to have that over here. We're trying to be moving forward. So who isn't excited about their future? Who isn't ready to look forward to new things and to have those new things really be beneficial to you, you know? So I'm really happy about that. And I'm just trying to be the better person. You know, I'm trying to be the best version of myself. Fun fact, when I was little, I literally had, well, I thought back then it was just a dream about my future self. Like, um, like I imagined me, my husband, my little family, we were all at church and I saw the back view of us. So I didn't see any faces or anything of that nature, but that actually was a vision, like a vision from the future. I strongly believe that because I, once I think about that dream, like I was young when I had that dream, like 
way too young to even really be thinking about that type of thing but that's always been planted in my head and so that is the best version of myself that I'm always working up to and I absolutely believe in the next few years I'm definitely gonna get there God willing you know fingers crossed I just keep that image in my head to remind myself that each year I need to be doing better I need to be taking a step forward I need to be achieving something new I need to be grinding harder I need to you know do X Y and Z to get some things done even on some days that I don't give myself enough credit because I always feel like I could be doing more so I kind of beat myself up about that like on days I'm just chilling or I'm not doing as much work I like I as much as it is needed because when if you guys know me if you guys really really truly know me I'm a workaholic okay like I work 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 you know it's always some you know bills that need to be paid it's always rent it's always whatever so I'm constantly working and I love 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 to work so the fact that I can still get in my YouTube videos or I can still, you know, do any extracurricular activities or hang out with my friends every now and then because I don't do that too often. But when I do get the chance, you know, like sometimes in the back of my mind, it's just like, hmm, could I really be doing something else right now? Or like the days I'm just like relaxing, which it honestly is not that often. Like I'm hardly home the entire day it's like it's very very rare like i will either have to be really sick or really really burnt out okay of energy if i'm staying at home the entire day um but honestly i need to stop beating myself up about that because everybody deserves a break every now and then and i don't have like a typical job you know and i have multiple jobs so um just even trying to find the time to relax i need to value that and cherish those moments because like i said i am always on the go i'm a workaholic so i'm like there's always work for me to do i'm always trying to pick up a shift here and there and just you know do things that i need to do because i have goals this year like i said so i'm always trying to work as hard as i can but a part of a good mental health mentality is to really have those moments where you can relax and just stop overworking the brain and that's what I tend to do a lot I really do overwork my brain I'm constantly thinking of things I'm constantly making lists I'm constantly um, having everything that I need to do like whether I write it down or I put it in my um, phone or I have reminders or I have alarms you know it's always something I will say that I will um, make it a point to really enjoy the moments um, the little moments where I actually do get to relax and just um, just breathe and be myself and com sometimes I like complete silence and that's also another good thing for my mental health because I know I'm not the only one with family issues I'm not the only one with issues in general so sometimes it just really helps to talk it out you know no matter if that's with a friend a family member a random stranger an actual therapist you know or hey a camera so you know whatever works for you works for you but I do feel a little better well I do feel a little bit better getting that off my chest and just being able to talk about what I need in the future um for my own mental sake because I can think it all day long but it's different when you speak it out loud you know it becomes a little bit more real and when you say it out loud, you know, when you like to hold yourself accountable, you just got to actually do what you said, you know? So I'm hoping in this new year that I can stay positive, as positive as possible, that I can, um, that I'm able to bring up my mental health 
from what I say like a six and a half to seven I'm hoping it will be a ten by the end of the year I'm hoping that I have no issues at the end of the year that I'm absolutely happy at my finest points and yeah I wish the best for you guys too anyone struggling with mental health if you guys do need someone to talk to I'm absolutely here you can hit me up in uh, my DMs all my social medias will be in the link down below um, so you can go ahead check that out you can follow me um, you can add me um, you can also literally hit me up in the comments down below as well um, if you do want to talk if you do have any video suggestions if you do have any ideas or anything you would like to see in the future let me know I am all ears I am willing to do any video that is reasonable of course um but yeah i think that's really it i don't want to hold you guys up too long it's already been a little too long but um <laughs> i do want to say i hope you guys all have a really really wonderful year i hope this year is promising for you guys i hope this this year is productive and i do hope that we all achieve the goals that we have in mind because we're not going to go another year without getting our goals done, right? Right? All right. So let's just put our best energy forward. Let's stay positive. Let's stay prayed up. Let's stay blessed. Okay. I love you guys so much. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.